and here we got the final output of our application known as JSON data. These are the JSON data we got. See, this is the JSON data. We have binded here. When I click blue color, see, we got the blue color. When I click red color, we got the red color. If I click green color, we got the green color. Let's write the code how to bind a JSON data into a drop down list using a JavaScript functionality. Just for the time saving, I have created this simple HTML elements after the horizontal line inside this body tag. I am adding select a color, select a color which is a label and now I am selecting the drop down list which is a select element, select option, I am adding the option, inside this option I am adding, um, I am adding select a color, so user can choose the colors from this drop down list and those colors I want to bind it from the JSON data. Let's give the ID of this select element, which is a, let's add the color list, color list. That's it. We have done the designing part. We got the select option element, which is a drop down list. Now we require the JSON data. For that, I am adding the script tag, script element inside the script. First, let's define one constant color list. Uh, um, this is a variable, color list is equals to document dot get element by id what element we are getting here this select element id let's copy this one and paste here now i want to bind the json data into this select id element so here i am defining constant one more variable json array array string let's give the array string is equals to array string between single quotes uh, square brackets now I'm defining the array string name is equals to name colon red color red now here I want to add one more functionality once I got binded these colors into this select option element if I use a select any particular color I want to change the background color of the browser I want to change the background color of the browser of the user selected color. So for that I am using hex, hexa code, hexa code is hash ff000 is a red color, comma, now let's copy this one, we require the curly brackets, copy this one. Uh, here we don't require the comma. Let's do this one. Here we require the comma. So let's copy this one. Paste here. Again, comma. Paste here. Make sure don't give the comma here, otherwise it's not bind. Then uh, let's close this one. Now the second color is the blue color, let's add the blue color, green, let's, uh, blue color, first let's add the blue color is equal to 0, 0, FF, and this one, the third color, what we'll do, we'll give the green color, green color, 0, 0, FF, 0, 0, that's it. This is a JSON data. Now I am binding this JSON data into the select option element. Constant JSON colors. Colors. Let's give the colors is equals to JSON dot parse parse function a method. See, it takes a string variable text. This is a string variable. See, everything is in a string. Now, now, here, colors dot for each function, for each function, and uh, let's change this one, this we got by default here, what we'll give, we'll give the color here, color, constant option is equals to 
document dot create element i'm creating the element option i want to bind these colors into this option element so i require one more options here option dot value is equals to color dot hex option dot i want to display only the text colors so text is equals to text uh, content text content is equals to color dot color dot name name this is a name i am adding here and this is a hex i am adding here the properties then option dot style dot background color background color background color is equals to hex dot color dot hex color dot hex and the text color option dot style dot color white color i want to display white color now and now what i will do is now we need to bind this data the option into this color list so append we require color list dot append child method in this append child method i am adding option that's it now we have binded the colors now when a user clicks this particular color on change event we need file for this select option element so let's add that functionality color list dot add event listener this is a change event change event let's define the function function let's close this one constant selected color is equals to color list dot value value if selected color is not equals to empty if it's empty document dot body body dot style dot background color background color um, background color yeah ba background color here is the background color if the color is not set is empty then this selected color this variable which is a user selected value that's it that's it everything is done let's check the final output of our application before that we need to save this file let's check the final output we are binding this json data into this option element for that first let's open the file explorer to check the, the folder i have created in the e drive and the folder name is a javascript tutorials and here this is a file name json ddi let's check that one json ddi now let's open that one and and here we got the final output of our application notice json data these are the json data we got see this is the json data we have binded here when i click blue color see we got the blue color when i click red color we got the red color if i click green color we got the green color that's it in this video tutorial i have showed how to implement the json binded into a select option element using the javascript thanks for watching this video tutorial please subscribe share and leave your valuable comment we'll catch you in my next video tutorial